Hey everybody, this is Rick. I want to give sort of a relatively detailed video on how I'm doing making my my pressure sensor for comic book presses. I've come a long way, developed a lot, it's gotten better. Uh, I still haven't developed it into a final project, but I wanted to show you this sort of Mark V, Mark VI version of it. This test, it looks like this. It's a mock-up of a comic book size thing, and I've learned some stuff that makes this work a lot better. Uh, but here's the uh, my FSR, my force uh, sensor, flexible uh, sensor, and I have some wires, and I've hooked it up to just uh, just measuring the resistance and seeing if I can get repeatable. Once that, you know, I've, I've passed that um, milestone, now I can start building the electronics and building the box and the readout and the, the gauging and calibrating. That's been a struggle for me to get that same number every time. So. Here's a little more detail on how I actually put it together. Possibly too detailed for some people, but people have asked for more. So if you want to start building your own and playing around, you can try this way, or uh, you know, wait for me with more updates. But it's going to come faster now that I've got some more development. So anyway, I hope you enjoy the video and take care. See you later. Bye bye. The audio quality in my shop was pretty echoey, so I'm doing a voiceover. But this is the basic backing board of the comic simulator. Here's the force resistive sensor I'm going to use, and I'll show you how I. Put it together here next. These are the leads that I'm going to be soldering to. Now I'm just tinning my 18 gauge solid core wire. It's this gauge so I can plug it into a breadboard for easy prototyping. prototyping. But I'm just tinning this so that I can make the easier soldering of the whole thing. There's just some more soldering of the leads here. Most people don't need to see this in this level of detail, but some people have asked, so I'm showing you what, what I do. This is how it's done. And just another one, just another example. The other lead, nothing very special or different, but this is just how I do it in more detail. That's what it looks like. And this is just guiding the sensor into the mock comic book and putting the wires in their subchannel so that they don't interfere with the pressure, which was initially a bugger for me to solve. So here it is. This is the sensor you saw when we made it. And I figured out some of the tricks here about getting the area evened out and the stiffness of the material around it and how does it settle and preconditioning and these kind of things. So I worked, I worked on that and it's just hooked up through my fluke meter now with a 10 kilo ohm resistor. And I'm just going to put it in here and measure the pressure and then we'll, we'll see if it reacts the way we want. I think, I think for the, for a change, it's going to work. So let's see how this guy works here. Now that I've, I've just been moving it around a lot. So the, pressure is all over the place and this resistor is, let's see how this is wired up properly here. Make sure that these are in there tightly. And we have around 30 kilo ohms of resistance in this particular circuit. We could, we can take some noise out of that with some, some uh, stuff here. So we're going to push our weight down. It's a pretty lightweight. We have 235 ohms of resistance, 230. And there's a nice linear range for this thing. Let's see if we get it a little tighter. And we get 190. This is good. And see how it's moving? It, it takes a while for it to settle into one pressure. And let's tighten it a little more and see if it goes down still. Hundred and seventy nine, hundred seventy eight ohms, and then we'll take it off. So we're really going to have to understand the relationship between weight and how this thing responds to the press. But this should go up. Yep, it did. It went up to two twenty. So it's working. So if we take the pressure up, this goes to more ohms, and pressure down, it goes to fewer ohms. And this is just connected here through my my breadboard, but I am anticipating putting couple of different ideas. I have like either a light array where I can just have like a Knight Rider style light that comes up and down and shows you how much pressure you're putting on sort of relative pressure or maybe a display. But it works. Uh, I've been having some problems with getting it to return to the same values. So it might be something you have to sort of recalibrate often. But it's a start and it's working somewhat. Yeah. So you loosen it, goes up, tighten it. It should, it should now go down. If I can do this a little more, let's see. 
and it does. So the thing's responding properly, it's going the right way, the, I can start building out the electronics better, but this is, it's now working, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. So anyway, there's some progress.